Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to another episode of Hamari Chai this is episode 14 I am your I am one of your co-hosts Hamza Abdullah with your other co-host Ali Shamim Hi guys what's up so in this episode we have with us Huzaifa Khan Huzaifa Khan is the co-founder of the Young Patriot School ye 2012 onwards se he's been running the school for uh students from the age of uh, 3 to 5 basically and it's a school that is run on donations for people and family for students and families that come from a lower income background in this specific episode we talk a little bit about that but more importantly we talk about things that uh, we talk in larger about the education system currently in pakistan in context to the corona virus and specifically hit on online education and where universities in our opinion in our opinion are like messing up and there is a lot of value in this uh podcast i think so like acha uh, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. right? this is my favorite podcast we have shot yet yeah straight up personally yeah. because this is what i've been most interested in and most of you that are watching this will probably also be interested in it because young patriot school is a school in karachi neelam colony that was founded for the purpose of you know beginning education and starting creative learning at an early age so zafa khan from what i understood after talking to him prides himself and loves loves teaching and loves making sure that families are a unit that can learn in peace so that's beautiful and also agar aapne ye podcast nahi dekhi aur agar aapne isko skip ki aapne share nahi ki aapne kuch bhi fast forward ki aapne kuch bhi gandi pane ki hai to aap please notice kiye ye 3 se 4 saal ke bachche aur aap थिंक <laughs> your uh, the children at your school are doing right now because they're really young they're uh as he as he is perceive karna even like adults are struggling to understand like understand ke pandemic kya hota hai aur the corona virus how it's affecting everyone right pakistan mein yeah. you can see bahut saare log are willfully ignorant as well so like how do you yeah. like how, i don't know ke, how much contact you know you've had yeah. the kids at your school so like how are you managing mm-hmm. that okay um so here's the thing um uh, i don't know how this sounds but but uh the kids from my school uh so we work with kids uh from the ages of 3 to 4 uh mm-hmm. they're just starting school mm-hmm. so at this time there and even our work in the school when it was there physically was was a lot of play was a lot of uh, hands on work and and as far as many as uh, as of the children that have connected with so far they are all still playing they are actually getting more time to play mm. and sort of engage with their own environment and their parents and all of that so they they are doing okay uh, they are doing okay it's the it's the parents and the families that that were more concerned about because uh, that's where the real struggle is and that's where so our concern here right now is 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 not sort of the learning side of of for our kids and also the academic side but it's more to do with with uh, the safe environments that they have at home because that's what's mm. crucial for them to even engage in those learning or engage in play uh and and for that what we're more concerned about right now is environments at home that are at a risk of not being safe because there's with, among the parents and among the families there's a lot of anxiety and there's a lot of that uncertainty and there's there's a lot of a lot of risk that's there so so our main concern right now is is sort of making sure that those environments are safe our children for them for as for them they they're okay like they're they're sort of engaging with it as they would engage with any sort of new uh, event that would come just by learning and sort of engaging with it and still continuing their own play and their own sort of learning it's so, it's more more the parents and the families that were at this point really trying to connect with and and sort of understand their dynamics like getting into that how are you trying to build the connection with the parents yeah i mean so so what we're doing right now is is we're we're sort of regularly keeping uh contact with them over the phone 
So we're calling them every day. We're sort of checking in uh, what's going on. We've we've sent out, and even before we shut the school off and we gave vacations, we had given them lots of home tasks to do, and we'd given them like uh, worksheets and, and instructions. To, so we're checking in on those if that's being followed, what's happening there, and then generally checking in on the families that. What are the things they might need? Uh, what sort of support we can offer? Uh, and we're also now trying to prepare some work and stuff again for the children to do because now that was a month ago. Now that's probably also now they've done most of the stuff that we've given them already. So now we're trying to build some new exercises and new sort of instructions to the to pass on to the parents. What we're currently using is like we're, I mean it, it's we're lucky that a lot of WhatsApp is something that it's very common now hmm. and like. Any sort of household uh, has that facility. Even if it's mm. like ten people living, one of them has a smartphone with WhatsApp in it. So we're mm. able to do like video, video calls, and so. But so there's some FaceTime as well, mm. and there's just that connection. That so right now, or all we're trying to do is just maintain that connection and then sort of build from there because that's what uh, we feel is really important at this time to just maintain that connection. So and like, sort of so do. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are children who are fairly uh, lower income, tab ke se aate hain, right? Pakistan ke. And so, mm. yeah. these parents' ki jo concerns are, what are they? You know, ke, like yeah. what have they mentioned to you? Like what's the common or the least common concern that they come to you? Ke, uh, you know, what are they concerned about? What are they concerned uh, so yeah, you're right. Uh, the community that we serve, Neelam Colony, it's it's one of uh, it's one of the low lying areas, and it, mm. the uh, community there comes from really humble backgrounds. They most of them are daily wage workers, so they are sort of affected by this pandemic a lot. Exactly. Uh, even regardless of that, uh, there are still people who sort of have their own small shops and stuff. But mm. uh, but you know, I mean, they're they're a population that's that has been drastically affected by this whole situation. Mm. And for them now, it's an important thing to understand is that even prior to the pandemic, uh, their normal daily circumstances were ones that were filled with a lot of uh, how would you okay. say that with a lot of trouble, struggle. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, there's this things like domestic violence. There's things like a lot of trauma. There's already a lot of uh, suffering there. So this is just sort yeah. of adding another layer to it. And up till now, what we what we've sort of identified is that uh, with a lot of the concern is now that with with families coming together and with everyone sort of being at home, in most cases in like a one room house where there's like two families living, hmm. uh, that's what's that's what's challenging right now to sort of manage that space uh, with each other, and that's something that we're we're trying to sort of figure out a way to also uh, cater to because. You know that's a bit outside of our scope, but then that's what that's what it's needed right now to sort of help the families, help the parents sort of understand how they can sort of figure out their own time and and uh, create the safe spaces for themselves and then also for their children. So so that's something that that we've picked up as a need. And then there's also again there's this common needs of Russian and and all of that, mm -hmm. but we're trying to sort of look beyond those because there's a mm -hmm. lot of people already doing a lot of Russian work and there's all sorts of things happening. Uh, what we want to really focus on is is how to create safe environments for our children, and that begins with create, helping parents create safe environments for themselves. So, so that's what our goal is for now, and that's the need that we've identified, which 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 is not being met, you know, otherwise. That's the real structure so, that I feel. Yeah. So, Abhi, would you say you're focusing more on like helping the parents cope with? All yeah. of this and helping them focus on the family structure rather than just you know, the children. I mean, not rather, I wouldn't say not on the children, but uh, no, no, not like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like focusing on on sort of yeah the structure and sort of managing that space so that they can cater to their children better. Like that, that's how it sort of connects. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, bolo, Ali. So okay, so on a wider scale, obviously you. Have been doing this for a very long time, or well, eight years, right? More than eight years, roughly, right? So, my question is, because there's a broader, I I would like to move a little broader, is that uh -huh. as a Pakistani person who is not involved 
in this uh, who's not hands down like someone like you who's trying to assist people right and let's say who, who is not part of the government as a regular pakistani what can i do or somebody who is in a fairly privileged position who does not have any financial issues matlab is scale ke upar because of the corona virus but other than unke general household mein they aren't as severely affected they have access for the time being you know uh or unki spaces hain unke paas jo zyada comfortable hain wagaira so yeah. what can an average kyunki hamare jo abhi kuch listeners aista aista develop ho rahe hain they are mashallah se from households jo jinke educational backgrounds are still like stable right unko angrezi wo acche angrezi wale schoolon mein gaye kuch bahar pad rahe hain kuch universities mein pad rahe hain so for people like those households jo ye zara si aapki wider uh, demographic yeah. aati hai what can mm-hmm. they do to help people like you or to help families that you are catering to um so so here's the thing um uh, one thing one thing that that uh, comes with with privilege or with certain kind of privilege is is uh, that you have you, you at least have some people who are listening to you or you have some people who who are attentive to what you're saying or you have that power of those resources to create a space where a space where people might listen to you so i think the real real simple simple thing to do would be to talk about this to to sort of talk about what's really happening on the ground level and to talk about how education is changing and how sort of learning is changing and and what are the really need, what are the needs that are coming up as part of this whole situation because there's there's a lot of conversation around ration there's a lot of conversation around uh, the the apparent very uh, visual needs mm. but it's the more it's the more subtle needs that that really aren't being talked about as much so i feel like that's something that with privilege is a, is a is a uh, is something that can be done and secondly i mean the other step that that can be taken is is to reach out so so if 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 through this platform mm. right if people who are listening they can reach out to you or they can reach out to me and connect with me mm. and and sort of and sort of say okay, okay this is something that uh, i have whether that's financial whether that's uh, intellectual resource whether that's uh, you know i love working with children and i can do like a uh, uh, you know i can send create like a worksheet for them and i can send it to you digitally and you can give them out uh, i for the parents i want to uh you know help them sort of, i want to make worksheet for parents so that they can sort of do something on their spare time and sort of mm. uh process what they're feeling and really express that because that there's no such resource really available out there uh, i mean there's people doing things but again sort of things are happening in pockets what mm. uh, what we want to really encourage is is to sort of bring those things together and really share resources and share that knowledge and share that whether that's intellectual capacity whether that's financial capacity but that reach out and offer because that's where the conversation really starts um main baithe baithe to soch sakta hu ki main bahut cheeze kar sakta hu but wohi hai ki jab tak main uh jab tak i don't reach out and i don't sort of talk about it uh it really doesn't uh build you know, momentum yeah Yeah, so I feel like those are two simple, very simple things. I I don't want to talk about like donations and all of that because like yes, it it, it is those are meaningful and they have their own space. But right now where we're in, it this is something that requires much more than than just that. It it's it's more it's more subtle and it's more uh, it needs more attention. Uh, so I think conversations and reaching out, uh, connecting with 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 me with with people who are doing similar work. Uh, that that I think is is something that. can be done really easily so how like, can okay just like quick out of the way how can people reach out to you straight up how can people reach out to me uh well they can if i don't know if 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 you uh, put a link to my to this yeah, yeah we will here uh, we will have all, all of those links in the description so yeah so so that uh, you can reach out to me there uh Yeah so that would be the best thing because that right now we're we're sort of connecting people connecting with people through that and that's the most active platform theek hai so yeah that if any of you knows know, know mm-hmm. me personally you can reach out to me personally uh i don't know if you, if you know ali personally or hamza personally mm-hmm. you can reach out to them and get my number from them and reach out to me that's this 
there's also to be yeah okay so abhi i think with this crisis it's like very important that the community gets together to you know solve it so what do you think education will look like after corona like even just throughout to abhi to try kar rahe hain magar once we accept ke bas ab thode time ke liye online hoga ye cheez what do you think it will look like uh, like no, i think i think we are i think we have accepted that hamza i think uh, hmm. acceptance to kafi had tak aa chuki hai theek hai but i feel like what it will look like that's a question i i really don't know how to answer right now because because there's this a lot of different uh, different sort of view points that are going on right now uh, hmm. my my personal uh, take right now is is that uh, the way we the way we learn and the way we look at learning that's what's changing and yeah. that that's something that i will feel will be very different once uh where where a little further in this or once we're through with this because the questions that are coming up at this point uh th- those are very crucial for example uh it's like now sort of people are understanding finally that academics or like the way we've been looking at things is not the only way to look at it it's not just numbers it's not just those volumes it's not just uh, that that knowledge that that you get and you sort of give a test and you sort of you know come out of it with Agreed. a change yeah, then yeah, you know uh, so so I, we're we're being forced to relook at those perspectives and and i am really interested to see how that how that turns out because uh, and when i'm saying that i'm looking at when i look, say talk about my school uh where already we try to incorporate different approaches and we already because we're working with that age we have still have that liberty where where we don't have to bring in academic pressures at all where we have play and we have unstructured time and we have all of those things but what i'm really interested to know is see is how sort of schools that are working on a bigger level how yeah. sort of they respond to it and, and and like i mentioned earlier about sharing learnings like that's something that i'm also looking forward to is if that if there's a response that comes in differently and there's learning shared then that can be different because i i've been speaking to people otherwise as well who who are involved in different schools and and ib schools and metric schools and and you know the the whole the whole variety and and i think everyone is thinking everyone sort of adapting and right now it 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 like i said i'm not sure if i can exactly answer that or how would it look like but what i know is that we will be looking at learning very differently than what we used to do and we've already started looking at it differently uh and i'm really sort of excited to see uh and i'm hopeful to uh, to see that maybe we will actually look at it differently in a way that that's actually productive because now we're all of a sudden everyone's realizing that technology is something that we've been really uh shying away from for all yeah. these time but now we're realizing is okay this is something that's that's really valuable and and how can we bring that in uh you know so so, so there it's all sort of these questions so i'm actually quite excited to see what what uh, difference it would really make uh and i'm hoping some people who still sort of are still in that same uh set of uh, same mind frame that they i i've heard this i've heard uh instances where 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 people have sort of are trying to even on like on the on the virtual realm they're trying to replicate the same model that they were following in that brick and mortar system and that's something that that I I have a hard time understanding because I don't know how how that really works because uh it because this the virtual space gives you an opportunity to learn in a very different way but until and unless we really look at it in a different way and adjust our learning goals and our outcomes and our expectations accordingly we'll just be putting out the same things and and expecting something that's not close to reality so i feel like that that there's a lot of these questions that that people are thinking about me myself i'm thinking about a lot of these uh, and i feel like maybe a few months down the line we might have a better understanding of what our what the education would look like for now we i think abhi was just exploring and adapting i think i think abhi one change that's coming up in the syllabus is like people are focusing more on health because i mean hum logo ne like ye virus spread hone bhi itne aaram se diya hai while we're focusing on how to give cies and how to give these exams but hum log social distancing nahi seekhte hum log the basic hygiene and health care nahi seekh rahe which could help us avoid the virus so abhi do yeah. you think that this is in like a very important shift that's coming in education is the whole yeah yeah 
Of course, the health part, uh, the emotional sort of learning part, that's really important. A lot of people are realizing the need for that because they're understanding yeah. that, yes, we've been, we're, we're dealing with children, but but they really have those real emotions as well. And they're, and they're sort of feeling the brunt of this whole situation. And, and OK, how do we sort of cater to that? So yes, health for sure is, is something that, that we've, we've uh, really brought out. And, and with that, the sort of emotional uh, need uh, is also being addressed. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not I, I don't think we're there yet, but, but at least we're starting to realize yeah. the value of those two things. So like coming, uh, coming a little back to like uh, you mentioned uh, the idea of care. Uh, can you hear me, Huzafa? Yeah, yeah, I okay. can. I can. Uh, basically, you ke aapki kuch sensitive. You you mentioned the term ke kuch sensitive needs hai aapki, uh, jo jinke baare mein nahi dekha ja raha hai generally around the sphere of education. You know, regardless of uh, uh, kaun sa school hai, kaun sa uh, income background hai, social economic status chaos of that family of that student. Mm. Uh, so obviously shelter, food, uh, safety, uh, and like yeah. health key safety and all of that stuff. Ke baare mein people are talking, yeah. but when it comes to education, kyunke, uh, it's interesting because you also said ke people are trying to replicate that same model digitally and in the virtual space, which mm. again, I, I agree with your statement. Ke it's a very bad approach kyunke it's, uh, you can't do that because again, I think Hamari Abhi previously a podcast with uh, Asad or Uska Sadne Yei Bolatha ke I don't think uh, he said that learning should not stop, but maybe education job ki your standardized systems hai of you know studying for the sake of going through the system and you know doing these set uh, all systemized thing up ke na ke apne padha, apne exam diya, and you get a grade. Uh, yeah. Maybe people need to stray away from that for a while. And uh, it's interesting because Hamza and I are university students, and Alhamdulillah, we have so many privileges that we can go outside and learn from the world. And the one thing that we both have experienced is that our education, uh, obviously, universities everywhere aren't prepared for this global level. Par. Yeah. And uh, what do we say? Especially like in some degrees, it's not applicable. Hi hai. Like, for example, if you're a medical student, aap uh, you can't only study online. There's a whole practical, physical element to it. But mm-hmm. uh, the one thing that we yeah. experienced is that they're moving to pass fail, you know. So there is no concept of Achha, ye grade lana hai, ye percentage lani hai. But simultaneously, Pakistani universities can there because again we are in the same age group, we have friends. So unka we see ke, uh, what you said is that's what's happening you know students are being burdened with uh, more mm. uh, work they have more assignments uh, i've i've had i've had friends who have uh, online classes at 9 pm and at 9 am on the same day while having to submit an assignment at the middle of the day jo doesn't make any sense because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know ke, universities ya some institutions are trying to do that, uh, whether they're, uh, you know, they're not, but what I'm getting at is ke, uh, jo sense of empathy, hoti hai, how that is, mm-hmm. kitni zarurat hai uski abhi to not, mm-hmm. not for the sake of empathy, not for the sake of being nice, but to ensure ke aapka bacha a space mein hai jaha wo absorb to kar raha hai ke wo jo seekh raha hai you know yeah. wo yeah. mentally mentally and emotionally safe feel kar raha hai kyunki we know this like ke jo like on average let's remove corona virus and all of this situation you know that children who come from more troubled households struggle to perform better not because wo intellectually challenged or mentally challenged hai right it's because they, they're not in the emotional space to uh, absorb any information that's beneficial for them. Yeah. So, like, how do you think, ke, especially like for you, it's even tougher to do that now, right? Because your students, 
uh, even though your students are young, I'm I'm trying to like talk about more students in that same socio economic background. Mm. Right. So how do you think like uh, schools and universities who cater to more um, students and families basically from that socio economic background? How can they listen to this and like adapt? So I feel like when uh, thank you for for for. Uh, Sort of bringing that perspective in. Um, so one thing that what that you said and I thought that occurred to me while hearing to you was listening to you was um, that uh, so so there's this uh, idea that's going around and I think that's very dangerous, which is that uh, acha and and this is not just with schools, but this is something that I've experienced a little with with even organizations and workplaces and 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 sort of any any uh, sort of the of that structured space. Where it's like, अच्छा अभी बच्चे घर में हैं या लोग घर में हैं तो they have इनके पास time है अब वो घर में हैं they don't have to go out उनको कुछ करना नहीं है वो घर में हैं तो उनके पास ज़्यादा time है तो हम उनको extra चीजें दे सकते हैं हम उनके time को use कर सकते हैं उनको किसी भी time पे class रख सकते हैं किसी भी time पे उनको call कर सकते हैं कि भाई ये हमें चीज चाहिए whatever and that's I think that's something that that's very dangerous because that is Sort of the premise, which leads to few things that you mentioned, like you know, there's this, there's like three calls within that uh, whatever three hours, and 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 we we feel we sort of uh, do not don't understand that like screen time and, and virtual learning is very different from uh, your your normal physical learning, where uh, one hour of screen time, three hours of constant screen time is something that. Uh, you know it, it, it's it's there's research on it it's not really uh, beneficial and there's really that that absorb that you don't absorb that much as you would uh, so i feel like what when you when you mentioned you said that this this whole approach when when people are trying to sort of replicate the same model in the virtual space that's bad i i would say that it it's dangerous uh, i wouldn't say it bad but i would say it's dangerous and I, and why it's dangerous is because uh, The danger is not that uh, that this will happen and and it and people won't absorb. The danger is that it will happen, and people will get used to it, and that's how it'll ha- it'll keep happening till till we sort of get through it. And and the risk with that is we will not get time to stop and reflect on what we're doing and what we're doing wrong. So this opportunity that everyone has now to sort of reflect and pause and consider your approach and sort of reflect on the adapt. The real risk is then if you stick to that approach, you sort of just uh, shift that without blindly and sort of replicate that. You miss out on that opportunity to really uh, adapt and change and question that approach. So that's the real danger that I see in this thing. And 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 what you're what you're saying about how can sort of uh, schools, universities who are catering to the same population uh, maybe understand this better? I think. Uh, I think schools that have a bigger network, that are more, that are working with communities in particular, they have an advantage because, uh, and and I I know a few uh, organizations that are doing this, because they have the advantage. They have alumni, they have teachers who are from those communities, they have students from those communities, and especially when you young people, if they have young students, uh, they can really utilize those students to in a lot of ways. So so there's. So I know of, of organizations that are using their community and using their alumni to sort of deliver ration to to the households that they know of. They're using them to deliver care packages to the students. They're using them to mentor younger students and sort of you know uh, make sort of small small groups. So you know you create WhatsApp groups with like one alumni mentor with like five, fifth, ten uh, class five students, and you know so so there's there's all these. Really interesting, innovative ideas that people are using and that are really up for for grabs for anyone who wants to sort of understand them and use them. There's a lot of tech uh, work that's also happening. There's a lot of organizations that are offering uh, their tech solutions free of cost to schools mm-hmm. uh, to sort of come take take them on and and help help their their students sort of learn from them. And they're very like simple applications to use, which are just through a phone. And they can whether that's learning through videos or whether that's however the app works. Uh, so I feel like what what the way to respond the best way to respond would be to look at your resources 
and to look at what uh, and to see how how those can be used in some in the most effective manner within within the capacity that you have for example uh, let's say if if a school that has a bigger scale but they they sort of people don't have connectivity at all the community that they're targeting they don't have internet connectivity at all yeah. so the, so the apps and all of this maybe things can't work right but but a resource that they do have let's say is teachers who are from that community okay so so the idea would be to mobilize those teachers and 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 use those teachers to to uh, uh, reach out to individual houses or individual students whether that's on phone and and make groups with them or or sort of connect with them and and continue that distant learning like that uh there can be another thing that that's important to understand is that um it's we we're, we're, we're talking about social distancing but really the 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 key there is physical distancing uh so in a lot of ways that can be used to an advantage where where it could be still a space because this school with schools in the community especially they have buildings or they have areas that that might have some space that have might have open spaces so they could use that like people could children like yeah. 10 groups of they could come in in groups of 10 they could sit really far apart whatever there there's there's all sorts of ways to to really engage in, in this time and really innovative ways i think the the real uh, question is is if you're ready to to think about that if you're ready to accept that challenge and really work with the resources that you have because it is it is quite intimidating as well i would understand that it, it gets quite overwhelming that oh you know everything's closing down we can't really do anything we don't have resources uh but i feel like uh wherever in whatever spaces schools find themselves in i am sure that there there is some resource that they can use to their advantage really figure out a way to keep that learning going uh so it's really about like i said initially as well it's really about getting together and sharing those ideas because like you and me and we're sharing those ideas some someone in in a village in punjab might be doing something really innovative but thing is someone in sindh would never get to know that because there's no way to share that information right and that's something where 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 people like us or people who are in more uh, uh, power or people who are in more authority the government bigger organizations need to sort of create that system where where there's that information sharing that's happening uh like i was on i abhi tak i've only seen this one panel in which i was on which was hosted by another uh, organization working in karachi and they have government schools yeah jindagi trust yeah i yeah. was jindagi trust and that was yeah. the only that was the only platform that i've seen of its kind where they would act but it was actually very meaningful and there was ideas that was being shared and there was innovations that were being shared and everyone was and everyone saw a different space so hmm. i feel like if 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 even if more spaces like that can be created uh then it it was it's very easy then for that chain to sort of momentum to be built like you also mentioned earlier so i think that that's how i would uh, see that yeah. i think that one of the biggest problems jo bhi yahan bhi ho raha hai like mere paas bhi ho raha hai is people aren't accepting ke corona hai ab like for, for example this you know like this university mai isliye yahan bhi phasa hua hu humko jaane nahi de rahe keh rahe hain ke online uh, the final exams will be held on campus i mean i doubt it I seriously doubt mm-hmm. it's going to be held on campus magar khud unko accept nahi karna to hum roko rakha hua and same thing in pakistan the same thing everywhere like people just don't want to accept the reality ki corona bas ab hai now it's about mm-hmm. physical distancing it's about learning online yeah. it's about you know doing these things but more importantly i had a question that deviates from corona a little bit and yes. अच्छा मुझे समझ आता है लोग कैसे पढ़ाते हैं लाइक पीपल हुआ सेवन प्लस राइट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट लाइक पीपल हु यू कैन टीच डायरेक्टली आई अंडरस्टैंड बट हाउ डू यू टीच समवन हु सो यंग लाइक हाउ इट मेक्स नो सेंस टू मी लाइक व्हाट इज व्हाट इज यू क्योंकि लाइक द आई थिंक हमजा करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग योर क्वेश्चन इज लाइक के व्हाट आर व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट यू हैव इन माइंड बियॉन्ड you know kisko abc or no, no, i understand the objective objective to hai magar how do you how do you like work how do you put it in how do you teach them that's my question because it's hard teaching someone who doesn't know any language you have to teach them the language and that's very hard on its own yeah of course uh it is it is i think uh, if you look at that it is it is hard uh, by the same time this 
there's there's ways to do that and there's all sorts of approaches that are there uh, we uh, in our school we we sort of work with active learning and a, and a play based approach so so our lessons are are incorporated with with play and with exercises and with activities and and our goal is yes to have that academic uh, goal let's say like you said whether that's abc or like just sounds so that would be incorporated through songs that would be incorporated through play that would be incorporated through a skit so it's it's i think the real uh, and and as what and i've seen this work really well with with the young with the younger lot is is using play and i've not just seen it in my school but i've seen it in other places as well and that would play and with 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 a really experiential sort of an approach uh, kids really pick up on that because at that age you are really uh, learning from everything and anything that you see and experience and engage in around it's i think it we're, we're naturally attuned to that sort of a learning but it's that it's it's when we sort of start growing up and we're exposed to different sort of approaches and we're exposed to structure and we're exposed to discipline and we're exposed to uh, books and and all the that i think that sort of keeps taking away and keeps taking sort of eating away from that instinctive uh, need for learning that we have so i think that it the the real key is to sort of just uh, connect with that real uh, learning instinct that naturally we have and and work with that and it's it's a very it's a very fun process to be honest like i, I don't know if any of you have ever got a chance to work with uh, someone who who's super young uh, but uh, but it it's 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 a lot of fun and i think it's 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 the area and that i believe personally maybe in research and otherwise but what i personally believe is that that area or that age is really where you also have the most amount of learning in that experience so it's not just the one way yeah i think it's really the 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 exchange that really uh, makes a huge difference in that and that that's why i think uh, a lot of uh, like people who we found in our school and, and otherwise also people who i've met who are in this profession uh they're really in it because they there there's something there that they feel that that's that they can't find anywhere else uh and and i feel that like that's really special um so yeah i think uh technically and and research wise pedagogy wise there's a lot of approaches but just to simplify it i think that's what i would say that it's just a very uh, it's it's this connection that's that's all it is mm-hmm. right? so i think what what i what i got out of what you just said is ke especially for jo aapka ye younger lot hai of 3 uh, to 6 uh, to 5 wala type wala jo aapka age group hai uh, active learning ka basically ye matlab hota hai ke the child needs to feel an emotional uh, connection but also needs to feel ke uh, there being uh, interacted with you know yeah right to yeah. you obviously in this times of ye corona and you know unfortunately i hope we are pakistan at least manages to reduce the numbers and eventually get rid of these the yeah. virus uh, by the end of this year but uh, we know ke this is something that's at least going to affect us for more than a year ye matlab it's a sad reality so for that uh, Th- this situation right active learning then uh, how do you, how do you see active learning and engaging with these sort of uh, this yeah. age group wo kaise how do you ensure uh, while ensuring ke the safety of the child and your own safety is like intact yeah so so this is where this is where like i mentioned earlier as well uh, why there is a need to focus on parents and focus on families and build that uh, safety for them uh, is is because now the dynamic has changed it's earlier it was like okay i have dropped my child off to school and now really you know sort of you you do what you have to for these amounts of hours and then i'll come back and i'll take my child and i'll go and then i'll i'll sort of uh, get some tips from you and i'll try to do that at home and, and work with that now it's the other way around now it's it's we giving the instructions for for like those 15 20 minutes that is that we used to be that pick up time when they used to have that conversation with us and then go home uh 
and now it's it, it the onus is on the parents it, it's they're the ones who are really called upon to get involved and really take that ownership and and, and work with their child that way so we're here to give them the instructions and give them the the uh, the know-how and a little bit of of that holding uh you know and, and the exercises and what they have to do but but the doing bit is now with the parents and that's and that's why I said in the beginning as well that that what we're trying to focus on is really trying to help the parents sort of really get a hold of of the situation and sort of find spaces for themselves where they can uh, sort of feel safe and then be able to create safe environments and engage with their children in that way because uh, because yeah I mean we're we're right now I, I don't even know when we can be able to go back into the school building. Because already we have, it's not like we have a lot of space. So our building is is sort of small, and and it's there's not a lot of open space to fit everyone in together with distance with a distance. So so for us, it's even a bigger challenge to think about coming back onto this space right now. So for us, we're really trying to uh, build that uh, trust with the parents and build that connection with the parents, where we can then start entrusting them with with uh, the the work that used to happen within the class, of course, with with us being connected to them virtually, so so we're we're sort of guiding them through it, but the real work is sort of happening at home, and we're also looking at models where where now some of our teachers are from that community, so we're considering you know making visits, uh, you know uh, weekly stuff once situation gets better and there's some sort of you know some sort of uh, relaxation in the lockdown and all of that. So, I mean, like I said, we'll keep adapting as to the situation, but but the goal is is to really start with uh, equipping the parents with the emotional safety first that they need, and then the knowledge and then the sort of experiential support that they need to be able to create similar spaces within the house. Uh, because because what 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 an advantage with with this age group is that, like I said, the learning really never stops, mm-hmm. and. And the more time the child has to himself or herself, they're they're playing and they're engaging anyway. It's just to structure that and tune that a little bit, where if if the child is playing by himself, one of the parent can sit with the child, and and use that play to do an exercise that we've sort of told them to do, uh, and and that's sort of like an exercise that they can continue then, and that's play turned into learning. Uh, turned into, I mean, it was learning still, but turned into more of a conscious learning effort. So that that's where we're headed, and that's the idea. If that makes sense. So, Hamza, do you have something? I don't have something to say. I have something to just say to Zafa, which yeah. is, मुझे personally अपने preschool kindergarten teacher याद नहीं रहे मतलब बस obviously memory, <laughs> but I don't think people appreciate you and like teachers at that age group enough. ये सब लाते हैं अपने यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर्स को हाई स्कूल प्रोफेसर्स को मगर टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट मतलब आई वुडंट बी एबल टू बी लर्न एनीथिंग इफ आई हैडंट लर्न देयर सो मुझे जस्ट वांट टू से लाइक थैंक यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ प्रोबेबली एवरीबॉडी या नो एंड योर बैक आई थिंक इट्स दैट इज सो स्वीट लाइक या आई ट्राई टू बी एज इन्वॉल्व्ड इन द क्लासरूम्स एज पॉसिबल व्हिच रियली द टीचर्स दैट आर रियली 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 यू नो द वंस दैट आर दैट आर डूइंग डूइंग इट एंड and i feel like it's really important for for schools also just to mention when you mentioned this it's really, sorry it's also important for us to understand for schools to understand that uh that the teachers are also part of the community and they also need that emotional support and that holding and that uh support at this time because i've seen this in some places where where it's like now this i find teachers having maybe double the amount of pressure on them now to sort of find a way to take their lessons online and 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 I understand that that this is a time which which is calling all on all of us to go the extra mile but I feel like we need to be mindful of the fact that uh we don't create expectations that that put us under more stress uh and that would hinder our delivery of of that area because I feel like uh Yeah, I, I've, I've spoken to a few teachers and I've spoken to a few people who are now feeling tremendous amounts of stress and tremendous amounts of of of, of even guilt at some point that we're not able to do enough or we're not doing our job, and and you know, uh, 
So I feel like that that's something that also uh, schools and school owners or, or people who are really in the education uh, realm and really trying to understand this whole situation with also it would be helpful to also understand the perspective of the teachers and really what they're going through and what are we really expecting from them. Uh, and, you know, because uh, it's not because not it's not easy. Uh, it's really not easy to to teach in this time. And and people who are really passionate about teaching, they're they're actually where like some people I spoke to, they're actually very uh, upset at this whole thing. Like they're like we're not able to physically be in that space as a child, and we don't know how to as how otherwise to teach. So maybe we need to take this time to work on our teachers and equip them to be virtually more uh, savvy than focusing on our focusing on the on the students or focusing on the curriculum or focusing on what we're teaching. You know, so there's all these sorts of questions and 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 and, and opportunities that we're getting now. And like I said earlier, the risk is that we miss out on these opportunities. The risk is not that we keep doing what we're doing and it goes wrong. The risk is that we keep doing what we're doing, what we're doing, and we end up continuing with that, and we miss the opportunity uh, to do things differently that we now have. Yeah. So, in terms of like missing opportunity, kajo. Uh, idea hai. Uh, I feel like ke, this is a question that I have for you with like my two cents which I can be completely wrong about as well ke, it's ke, uh, mujhe lagta hai ke, like my question is for you ke, there are certain age groups right you have like university students hote hai, aapke high school phir college uh, phir aapke ye primary school or aapke kindergarten uh, wale level ke students aa sakte hain in yeah. pure is pure spectrum mein which level do you think in terms of students hmm. uh, can afford hmm. to take a pause from aapka ye traditional sense of learning kyunki pakistan mein the anxiety that i feel like jo log experience karte hain generally uh, even when something like this doesn't happen is ke bhai aap piche reh jayenge kisi se right so keeping that sort of mindset in mind, yeah. se, like what age group or which is system ka jo called education system established, hai, which, which age group or which student level ke upar can afford to actually take a break from this system and contribute in whatever way they can to society or contribute to uh, them learning on their own or you know that just say you said okay maybe it's best that that you need to take time to equip the teachers to um you know uh, yeah. how to use these tools aapke, aapke technology ke, ya phir how to even sit with the tutors and think about okay jo yeah. lower socioeconomic backgrounds aapke aate hai, students or families because unke paas int- zaruri nahi unke paas high speed internet or wo video dekh paaye ho sakta hai wo sirf aapki whatsapp call kar sakte hain ho sakta hai unke paas yeah. whatsapp ya smartphone available nahi hai wo sirf regular call kar sakte hain to yeah. you obviously need time to think about every specific situation and cater to that so it's like her uh, school ki literally at some point every school will have to develop their own system that is extremely yeah. Uh, specifically designed for their students right yeah yeah and keeping e- while keeping each and every student in mind because even in certain schools you will experience like even though school ki fee ek structure hai hai, there are students who come from different uh, social economic yeah. backgrounds so and like again with teachers you will have teachers who come from different social economic backgrounds right not every teacher will have your best laptop or their best smartphone available to them so yeah how do you like which age group can afford to have that pause in your mind you know i mean so in my mind i think all age groups can afford to afford to take that time like mm-hmm. again this the idea otherwise would be again like you said that the traditional approach where, where we're in a rush and we're all about that finishing things in time and 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 trying to get the most out of the, the least time that we invest in it. Uh, I think if, if we sort of keep that aside, uh, then every 
structure every age group that that schools are working with can take that liberty to pause and sort of see what it is. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, schools have already sort of gone on the way of like because June, July, we see vacations out there and all of that, so they've taken that time to do an early vacation and sort of restructure and and that that's very smart. Uh, we've also done the same thing. Uh, I know that that CIEs and 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 these board exams have also been pushed ahead. So, so you know there are structures and there are these uh, changes that have thankfully come from from the people who are who are in authority and they've they've sort of given us the opportunity also to take that time and i feel like uh, if the way, another way to look at us is if the government uh, sort of also further understands the real challenge and they sort of create this facility for for everyone to sort of maybe have a relaxation in their schedules or or the exams like if, if they're pushed even further so there's, there's things like that that can happen. So so with those things in place, I feel like uh, every age group or every uh, a school or institute catering to every age group can take that little space. At the same time, I feel like uh, so this is really a time when 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 your uh, leadership needs to really come into play. So 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 organizations that have really invested in that and invested in those roles. Uh, they would be an ad advantage at this point where they can see that it could it could possibly take them less time to reconfigure and then come back and sort of see that with organizations that have that maybe have not seen the value in that resource uh, creation earlier would now possibly take more time. So I feel like it. The, what I'm saying is like not sort of pause it uh, or or go on a sort of stop everything and 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 wait till sort of things come back together what i'm saying is that uh, the 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 pause can be in just that much that sort of lets you restructure and and think of ways to go forward and then when you have those ways and you have when you know how to do it then you can do it while you're doing your other things as well like your normal whatever you're doing cuz it it will be a process anyways it's not like ek din maine le liya aur maine sab cheez figure out kar li and now i can you know just Start. It will have to be a process, anyways. What 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 I'm trying to say is that uh, every age group, every like what your question, what you were asking was, every uh, age group or every institute targeting every age group. I think I feel can afford to take that pause. Uh, I think it, it's more of a choice, and it's more of a more of a a, a thing about. Uh, being able to ask for that space and also being able to really uh, think about what you will do with that space. Because space to mil sakti hai, but what will you do with it? And are you also willing to take it or willing to ask for it? Uh, that's also really important. Because I feel like it, it would be different for everybody, every school, it would, the pause would look different or the time would look different. As long as you, among, with your own capabilities, with your own capacity in mind, with your own resources in mind, you will figure out yourself how much time you need to reconfigure. It's just that, uh, at least make that choice. You know, uh, and thankfully we have structures in place. Abhi, just say exams delay ho gaye, ye sab ho gaye. So we, we have gotten that advantage also. So it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like things are just sab cheez ho rahi hai usi tarah. Uh, so if like globally people are understanding that things aren't the same, right? So we can also understand. Okay, mm -hmm. I feel like this Corona just where people, it's not stopping learning as much as it's stopping examination. <laughs> like people are still learning every like things, whether it's online classes or even just खुद सीखना YouTube या खुद सीखना आपके जो भी छोटे-छोटे रास्ते में आप दुनिया सीख के बारे में सीख रहे हो health anything it's still learning, right? But just old school examinations can't happen. Just have, nobody's thinking about giving CIEs at least for a very long time. So good luck yeah. putting 500 people in a shadi hall right now. But yeah. um, <laughs> so, oh, that's one very important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's interesting because the reason why I asked this question because this was something that was coming up like with my peers as well. Or uh, you actually helped me literally. Mera jo, perspective tha, wo abhi shift hua, and I realized that the reason why I think you're saying that everyone can afford to take that pause, every age group, especially from an education 
वाला परस्पेक्टिव इज एडिंग वॉट हमजा सेड के इट्स नॉट लर्निंग दैट हैज स्टॉप्ड एग्जामिनेशन जो आपके रुकेंगे सबसे ज्यादा और उसके साथ साथ एवरी वन इज गोइंग थ्रू दिस यू नो दिस इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू वन हाउस होल्ड दिस इज ये कोरोना वायरस के जो आपके लॉकडाउन हुए हैं ये पूरी दुनिया में आपके एग्जिस्ट और इम्प्लीमेंट हो रहे हैं तो आई थिंक वो जो हमारी जो अगेन जो माइंड सेट होता है कि वी आर मिसिंग आउट यू नो और जो कुछ ट्यूटर्स और कुछ यूनिवर्सिटीज का भी स्पेशली माइंड सेट है हु हैव द डिजिटल टूल्स अवेलेबल टू देम यू नो जिनके पास टूल्स हैं फॉरन जन ने शिफ्ट कर ली हर चीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली के अब तो स्टूडेंट्स के पास ज्यादा टाइम है क्योंकि वो घर पर हैं सो वी कैन basically start giving them all of these resources and maybe in their head like i'm not objecting ke unki intent ho rahi hai definitely i'm not saying that but i'm saying ke i think uh it's i think the fear really a lot of these universities have uh and like institutions aapke jo bade broader institutions hain uh jo aapke high school onwards deal on karte hain you know cis ho gaya aapke ib ho gaya uh even aapke metric ke board exams uh so i think it's really jo timelines jinko ye adhere karte hain right to wo yeah. timelines affect ho gayi hain and if you really look at what a timeline uh what makes a timeline is ke exam is waqt lena hai hmm and that's But, honestly just a date right i mean huh. if you look at it very simplistically it it's a date which can be moved around uh you know i mean i know it's very simple to say but the it is essentially that it is really a date that you set that you have set as like a human uh effort to do something and that's in your control you know if we, yeah if you like with teaching in i i say this as a student because i have very limited experience in teaching obviously but um i feel like अगर आप सही करते हैं अगर आपको कोई सही पढ़ाता है ना दे डोंट नीड टू एग्जामिन यू बाय द एंड ऑफ द क्लास यू नो दे टॉट यू राइट लाइक इट इट काइंड ऑफ शोस आपके डायलेक्ट में आपके बॉडी लैंग्वेज में आपके जस्ट योर नॉलेज ओवरऑल अबाउट व्हाटएवर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बट आई थिंक इट जस्ट शोस कि आपने सीख लिया है कुछ ये एग्जाम एंड में छाप तो सकते हैं जैसे अभी मेरा एक टर्किश का एग्जाम आ रहा है मैंने ज्यादा सीखा नहीं है मगर मैं गारंटी कर रहा हूं ये तो आ जाएगा वो दैट्स वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स विद कोरोना आई थिंक लाइक even like since you've gotten a little bit into it and hamara zara sa time bacha hai how much time do we have 5 uh, minutes for now uh, roughly 5 minutes i think just to sort of get into a little depth ke jo anxiety exist karti hai universities ki and ye jo hamare general education mein like without corona virus there's this um emphasis that universities and schools have on uh examinations and getting get ensuring that the student gets a grade right yeah. Yeah. the agar if we sort of rewind back and think about what does it mean to have an exam and what is the purpose of a grade and what information does it give us about a student is mm-hmm. ke it comes back to the same principle ke to ensure ke learning exist kar rahi hai the student has learned this you know jo objective tha and i think के कम लाइक जो हमजा ने चीज बोली है कि आई थिंक स्कूल्स विल नीड टू गेट क्रिएटिव विद फुलफिलिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट कि बच्चे की एजुकेशन हो गई है रादर देन ट्राइंग टू फुलफिल के एग्जाम हो गया है बिकॉज एग्जाम का हमेशा एंड गोल यही होता था कि कि बच्चे ने पढ़ लिया है अच्छा इसको समझ आता है एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो जरा सा प्रमेटिव तरीके से होता है कि the student basically wrote learning hoti hai wo memorize kar leta hai aapka student lekin i think with these limitations jo aayi hain abhi uh, i think what you said ke it's a time to pause this is one thing that i realized was ke my university decided ke we'll go pass fail on this term and the reason that they gave was ke again uh, we are trying to figure out this how we move forward with this but also ke kabhi kabhar learning jo student ki hoti hai wo isi wajah se hi nahi hoti hai kyunki there's too much emphasis on the grade which is counter intuitive to um ensuring that the kid has learned kyunki phir uske dimag mein taiyar grade aa jaye mera 
मैं ये पढ़ लूँ और ये दिस इज लाइक सो सो नॉर्मल देर आर बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स स्पेशली क्योंकि हम लाइक टू गिव कॉन्टेक्ट हमने सी आई एस किए ना हमने कैम्ब्रिज बोर्ड के एग्जाम्स दिए तो देर वॉज ऑलवेज दिस एंगजाइटी एंड हाउज एफ आई लाइक यू कैन लाइक अर लाइक यू हैव फ्रेंड्स एंड आई डोंट नो डिड यू गिव सी आई एस हाँ सो लाइक यू नो इक द एंगजाइटी दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट वो तो इट द लर्निंग इज आउट out of the window you you sit down you memorize because the end goal is you get the grade you and it's fine i'm not objecting on getting the grade because it's it validates ke acha learning ho gayi hai but i think wo sometimes your aapka so, goal itna in mind hota hai that you even forget why the goal exists hai na ke you can achieve that goal or uh, by having different indicators of achievement of that goal you know yeah. तो आई थिंक दैट इज वन थिंग दैट स्पेशली क्योंकि अगेन आई गेस आई एम जस्ट अ बिट मैड राइट नाउ मुझे जैसा गुस्सा है बिकॉज मेरे बहुत सारे दोस्त हैं जो लाइक इंक्लूडिंग हमजा क्योंकि बहुत एंगजाइटी एक्सपीरियंस कर रहा है हर कोई बट यू सी लाइक स्पेशली लाइक स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तानी यूनिवर्सिटीज डोंट यू कैन सी मतलब मैं लिटरली मेरा हमारा दोस्त है कामरान उसको हम मैसेज करते हैं तो बोलता है नौ बजे क्लास हो रही है मैं बोल रहा हूँ नौ बजे तो वैसे भी आपकी कोई क्लास नहीं होती है कोई लाइक एक्स्ट्रा क्लास होती है प्लस इट्स लाइक के नौ बजे नौ बजे यू बीइंग इन योर यूनिवर्सिटी स्पेस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नौ बजे यू बीइंग एट होम वेरी डिफरेंट बिकॉज देन मेंटली आपकी क्या वो है यू नो यूर ह्यूमन बींग्स रिस्पॉन्ड डिफरेंटली इन अ फिजिकल स्पेस तो इसलिए तो इसलिए तो स्कूल्स बने थे वरना तो फर्स्ट डे से ही होता कि आप लाइब्रेरी से जाकर किताब उठाएं पढ़ लें यू नो जाकर एग्जाम दे दें दैट इज वाई इट्स नॉट डिजायरेबल टू गिव प्राइवेट एग्जामिनेशन जो सी आई एस के लोग देते हैं बिकॉज इट पोल्स अवे फ्राम दैट ह्यूमन एलिमेंट जो आपको स्कूल में मिल रहा होता है बट हाँ आई थिंक वी आर ऑलमोस्ट वी आर आउट ऑफ टाइम फॉर डू यू है एंड के अंदर दैट यू वॉन्ट Um, yeah no i just want to sort of thank you for this space and for this conversation i think this is, this is really meaningful and as as uh, as out like hearing you i'm also having few thoughts that are, that are coming to me yeah. and yeah i think there's a lot of value in what you're saying about uh, the the real purpose of exams and and sort of and that's a very that's a debate that's been going on for a while and and it it's something that that uh, that really now is like you said an opportunity to to question that very sort of need to to examine and to test and to validate and, and let me tell you like i don't know if it's a validation for learning i think it's more of a validation for have we successfully been able to get abc information across to the child and has he